I'm not so familiar with Gian, but Bankai I know pretty well. We see him all the time here in New York, and I love watching his Pokemon trainer. So I'm really excited to see what he showcases for us, especially in these earlier parts of Bracket, where maybe he has more freedom to be creative. Yeah, he's definitely established himself as probably one of the best Pokemon trainers in New York. Um, Pokemon trainer in general is just such a fun character to watch because of the versatility of him. And let's see how he can just show that off against a, I don't want to say bad, but a lower ranked player than him. Yeah, and one of the things about uh, the way he plays, he is not afraid to switch. There are a couple, you know, some Pokemon trainer players, they'll stay Squirtle for the beginning, get a quick combo, and then basically play Ivysaur for the rest of the game. But he is comfortable switching all over the place in advantage, sometimes like, you know, of course, a disadvantage. That's in neutral. You can see him uh, just like swap if he feels like the other Pokemon is better suited to the situation. And dashing landing yeah. to the ground and getting the up smash, there getting the use out of Charizard. Yeah, Charizard, I think, is definitely a slept-on component for Pokemon Trainer. A lot of people right off the bat um, said like, "Oh, just play Ivysaur and Squirtle, and you'll be fine." But um. More and more people are starting to use Charizard for certain situations because uh, despite, you know, being like such a heavy that has so many flaws, um, the killing and pressure game of Charizard is ridiculous. And oh, yeah. If using that smart, especially with something like that up smash, uh, it oh. can be really beneficial. And he just continues getting all of this damage. None of those Vine Whips have quite connected with a sweet spot yet, but they are always the threat. The fact that that move can hit you from like seven IV stores away, yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. Oh, oh man. Bam, Pokemon Stadium. Too. Yeah, I feel that. Uh, <laughs> the pineapple's pretty bad, especially for a character with the recovery like Samus that just goes straight up. Uh, this is Dion's chance, though, to maybe start swinging the momentum. Yeah, Ooh. right there. He needed to get that ledge trap, and he did. Great use of the charge shot. But now this is, oh, never mind. That could have been a lot of damage. Oh, it looks like it is. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. It's oh, okay. A lot of damage it was indeed. <laughs> that was a zero to death. Cleanly, you know, <laughs> dropped that combo a little bit at the beginning, but he picked it right back up where he left it. Yeah, and that's just something that shows Bankai's kind of skill as a Pokemon trainer player, able to pick that combo back up and then extend it to a zero to death is pretty ridiculous. And yeah, that's just Ivysaur too. Insane oh, kill wow. power. Yeah, no, I, I think Ivysaur's, like, Pokemon trainer in general is so cool, especially when you can really utilize each character's strengths. And we were talking about Charizard before, how he slept on. The thing that I that I think is most slept on about Charizard is that he is very unique as a heavy in that he can pick his battles. So yeah. a lot of the times as a heavy, like, the, the nirvana, the place you want to be is when your opponent's scared of you, when they're terrified of what you can do. And when you're Charizard, if your opponent stops being scared of you, Fine, let me go Squirrel, where, you know, not being scared of you means that they might be make, like, you know, make tiny mistakes that lead to tons of damage. Yeah, it's it's true. Like, if if DK could just go into fast, tiny form. If he could transform into Diddy Kong, <laughs> yeah, oh, and, no. and then just get them on, like, ledge at 70 and get some <laughs> DK stuff, it just, that'd be, some, that'd be a cool character. But that's oh. basically what Trainer is. But I have to say this. This game's starting out a lot better for Gion. He actually has a bit of a percent lead. Oh, but maintaining it can be so difficult against a player like Bonkai. Really good mix-up landing using the down B to kind of smooth a bit. Oh, my God. That early up B was so good. He was ready for that down air, and he ends up turning everything into a stock. Ah, but the quick retaliation. Yeah, Charizard's back here is quite the ridiculous move. Huh? Really good for closing on stocks early. All right, just going for an easy 32% combo. Bankai goes immediately to Ivysaur, just wants to get out of a really damaging combo. And in this situation, ooh, Ivysaur probably has the worst disadvantage yeah. of the three Pokemon. This is the one time you really don't want to be Ivysaur. Uh, just Even not a lot. probably yeah. is better, just because he has multiple jumps. And he a, has up B and up smash out shield as well. There's and also, like when, like, when you're landing, honestly, it's I'm not going to say surprisingly easy, but as an IV sword, especially after you burn your jump, if the opponent isn't scared of your hitboxes, then you're kind of a sitting duck. Yeah, and Gion taking a pretty decent lead. Uh, could definitely close out a stock right here, but... Ooh, he's dead! Number Ooh, nice. He's dead! No, no. <laughs> he's oh, dead! He's dead. <laughs> there we go. Third time's the charm. And yeah, he's gonna stick with Charizard. Just at this point, you're so heavy, you might as well just stay. Yeah. And oh, never mind. Okay. Um, 
wanted to get to Ivysaur. I can respect that. Uh, especially because of Rage! No, okay. <gasps> I was gonna be... <laughs> oh. oh my... Oh, he went for it. Oh no, he actually makes it yeah. back. Great awareness of how... The extra jump on Charizard let him get back there. And right now, I am terrified to be Geon, because you have a Charizard that can back you from quite literally anywhere on and the And at stage. this point, pretty much all of his moves can oh. do damage to that. death. Yeah. That was game two already. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, Bankai going to be moving on. A little bit expected, but Gion put up a really good fight in that game, too. If the big problem, and this is kind of one of Samus's problems, getting kills. And when you're up against a character like Pokemon Trainer, piloted by someone like Bankai, mm -hmm. uh, you, you could be 100% ahead, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's like... That whole game, he was winning. Then he closed out the stock early, and once he was under above him with Bankai on Ivysaur, it was just over. There's not much Samus can do there, and Bankai's pressure is just so good to the point where the game never recovered from that point.